Hey, folks, and welcome back to our Island Adventure Part 3. I'll, I'll put Part 2 in the upper right-hand corner in case you missed it. But when we last left off, we were boarding a boat. We've got, we've got V along, and we've got her friend Dia. And, of course, also, we've got Paul Patia. So there he is getting on board. So it'll be the four of us and our captain. His name is Mr. Dot. So he'll get on and start the boat, and, and we, we are going out to a rock island. An island I saw from the shore. It just looked like a big rock sticking out of the sea, and I was curious to see what's out there. And while we're out there, we're going to do some fishing. So let's jump into it and pick right up where we left off, uh, off of episode two. We were on our way out to the rock. So we made it out to the rock and that's exactly what it is. It's just a huge rock that the, the brown ring around it looks like uh, the, the water line during high tide and then there's all kind of, uh, uh, I don't know, clams or something, uh, uh, mussels, barnacles stuck all to the rocks. But it's just like a big rock sticking up. <laughs> I mean, it's an island. It's an island, it's climbable. I could go up, I might try to go up. Uh, to the top. Looks like a lot of nesting birds up there. They'll probably, they probably wouldn't like it too much if I was up there. They probably got a bunch of nests and things up there. There it is. It's kind of awe inspiring. It's just in the middle of the sea, this big rock. <laughs> Not the kind of island you want to be stranded on, I don't think. Not a, not a castaway island. <laughs> Yeah, lots of uh, like some kind of seagull. <clears throat> Probably a lot of nests up there. This is a real oasis for them. There's a good shot at the barnacles. But the water is really clear out here. I can see see down to the bottom, and it's deep. It just it goes from like being it's probably 20 feet deep right here. And then you got this big rock jutting up like a mountain. Well, I thought there might be a little sandy beach or something. I didn't know. <laughs> He's going to throw a line overboard. He says there's big fish out here, which I guess so with all these rock formations sticking up, but you still have deep water. I, I think it would be an excellent fishing spot. Sipsong meat, huh? Okay, so he says 12 meters. So that's more like, that's almost 40 feet. About twice as deep as what I thought it was. Although here, I cannot see the bottom, so maybe over there it was more like 20 feet. I can't see any bottom. By now, you're probably curious where we are. So there's Patty and Rayong there. There's Koh Samet, the whole island. Uh, for frame of reference, this is our resort right up here, the Tatong Pa View. And we're going to like due south almost, a good clip down south to that red dot. That red dot is the rock, the rock island. They call it the White Rock. The Thai translation, it just is called White Rock. We're going to stay some time at the White Rock. Then we're going up to this little beach here. There's a place called Apache up there. And we'll look around there and enjoy, uh, enjoy the uh, sunset up there. It looks like you can get a ferry there during normal times. But right now, everybody's got to go to the main port. But anyway, let's get back to the fishing. He, not, not only this guy, the ladies at the hotel said there's a lot of big fish out here. He said, oh, if you go out with this guy, he'll catch a big fish. So... But we got an amateur fisherman here. <laughs> okay, I think we got one. <laughs> That's a fine catch. So in about 15 minutes, he's caught four fish. Well, V caught one. Um, and all four fish, I believe, are different species. I have no idea what any of them are. I'll try to show you what they are. They all look just like some kind of tropical fish. This guy, this captain's incredible. He's, 
it, it, it's a very rough sea. Not a very rough sea, but we're kind of having to hold on. And I'm sitting down because I'm afraid if I stand up, I'll fall over. He's climbing all over the thing, never holds on. <laughs> Fishing with one hand, taking him off the hook with the other, while the whole boat's rocking and feels like it's almost ready to tip over. <laughs> At least we'll get a little bit of a sunset today because we can kind of see uh, with the sun sets behind us when we're on, at, over there at our resort. So here we, we're a little bit in front of it. We've got a nice sunset. And see if he can get a lunker in the boat. That's a fine catch. <laughs> V's got another one. Look at that. She's wheeling them in left, right, and center. Now, I think I think the three that V caught are the same kind of fish. Yeah, very nice. Can die, mate. How do I? How do I? Okay, he says they're good to eat. They're they're good tasting fish. There. I guess they're about eight inches long. Something like that. It, it's a rocky area, so every I mean every two minutes she's getting snagged on a rock, or he is. Um, one, we've already lost a rig. They, they lost their rig. Oh, bait gone. So we're up to, we're up to nine fish. Ah, v, v caught three, all the same. I think she was using squid. He's just using some kind of, uh, of jig uh, rig. And he's catching these dark, dark colored fish. I'll show you the different kinds of fish. But he says they're all good to eat, but I think we're going to weigh anchor. Okay. This is only about a 16 foot boat. So it's the captain and four passengers. He said possibly a fifth if they're small, but I just said, ah, I don't want to overload it. Let's just do four passengers. It says Apache. I don't know if that's the name of the beach or resort, but he said it's a nice little beach. We'll just stop and take some pictures. Let the girls take some pictures on this beach. <laughs> I hope he doesn't leave us here. <laughs> it doesn't look like much going on on this beach. The people that are out here look like they live here. But there are a couple things that are open. Look like little tiny resorts or something. Any construction guys? Look at this place, man. It looks like a tree house up there. I wonder if that's like a hotel room you can rent. Oh, does it look like a tree house? It's built on a tree. But I tell you what, it'd be pretty cool. The wind is looking right out here over the beach. Boy, look at that big hole. Probably a big crab down there. But we got a boat full of fish. I don't know if the girls are going to grill them up or what, but uh, they're almost done with their selfies. We'll get back on a boat and go back to our resort, and then, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I guess they'll, they'll grill the fish. I don't know. I don't know if they're, I don't know if they're going to eat the fish or just give them to the captain. <laughs> I think we scared all the fish away. We left about five, it's going on seven now, it's getting dark. We're gonna call it a day, go up to the Rasta bar and that's all it's gonna be. 
So even though, I mean, the fish were average size, a couple little, maybe a little bit small, but nine fish, uh, this is what became of them. Two great big, huge flaming pots of Tom Yum Pla. Yeah, instead of Tom Yum Gung, which would have shrimp in it, Tom Yum Pla has fish. So uh, it, it was very good. Well, we had some rice. I think we got fried rice as well. But uh, it fed all four of us. And everybody liked it. They 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 did a great job cooking uh, cooking up the fish. We've done this before. Catch the fish, give them to a restaurant, have them cook it up for you. But like I said, it fed all of us, and I think there was even a little left for one of our other friends. <laughs> So I know what you're thinking. Hey, you told us it was two days. Isn't today day three? Why aren't you going home? And that would be a good question. So I'll tell you, I'll tell you the whole story of what happened. And it, I, I just figured this out like late yesterday. The room that we got, I'll show you on a go to, they have what's known as the sea view room. Vis-a-vis -vis sea, sea view, like you see here, the sea view room. That's usually 3,500 a night. That's what Agoda was showing. When we got here, but they, their basic room, their basic room, which is a little bit farther back, away from the sea, was 2,500 baht. When we get here, it's 2,499, 2,500 baht. I'm thinking it's the standard basic room, but she told us it was sea view. So when I get in the room, I discover, hey, this looks like the expensive room. This looks like the 3,500 bought a night room. Looks just like it. I'm sure it is. It's sea view, direct sea view. So I, I thought, wow, we got, we saved at least 2,000 baht, I guess. We saved like 2,000 baht on the room. But then yesterday, the, the proprietor here asked, she said, if you guys want to stay in like another night, you can stay another night for free. And I have some friends here that you've seen she goes, and if any of them want to move here, I'll give them the room at half price, which the normal price is 35. It would have been 17, uh, 17 or 17.50 for the night. I think we got a bit of a deal, and I didn't even really understand it fully at first, but really turned out to be, really turned out to be nice. And I think for three nights for 5,000 baht, uh, 49, 4,900 actually, uh, with breakfast, we're happy. We're happy campers. <laughs> Oh, that's refreshing. Very refreshing. Um, yesterday, we went on a really cool boat ride in the afternoon, and we had a great captain, a local guy here. But he's told us today, we're going up a mountain, and it's not to see a temple at the top or anything like that. He's told us at the top of the mountain is a gold mine. I think an abandoned gold mine, but uh, I'm curious to see it anyway. And he's offered to take us, so it's a bit of a hike. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting a little relaxation here, the calm before the, sto before the storm. We'll be, we'll be hoofing it up a mountain later. Uh, we'll see how that's gonna go. Uh, he said we have to dress appropriate. It's a real deal kind of jungle mountain trek, but we'll see what's up there. Wouldn't it be cool to find a piece of gold? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what it is. I, I'm just curious to, to see something different. So that's where we're going this afternoon. Until then, I'm just going to relax here. And it's warm like bath water. It's just like bath water. Ah. <laughs> so there you go. This will be us next time. We will. We will scale the tallest mountain on Cosumet, and uh, <laughs> we will see what's on top with our trusty guide here, Mr. Dot. So tune in for that 48 hours from now. And we, this, this is the last day of our trip, so 
more than likely, almost definitely, that will be the last episode of the series. So uh, we uh, will try to get the rest of the rest of the uh, trip into that episode, along with a segment of uh, what happened with V's telephone. I know a lot of people can't wait to see that one. Believe me, worth waiting for. It's it's incredible. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the series so far, and specifically this episode. But I'm going to go ahead and leave this one right here. And as usual, I'll thank you for watching. And until next time, bye for now.